Hey everyone, it's Friday the 5th of November. The time is 11.32 a.m. and the temperature is 6 degrees. It's raining. We are in Tampere, next to the uh, main library called Metso. This park here is Hameen Puisto. And we just stop Hameen Gatu, one of the main streets going through Tampere. I'm going to make my way to uh, what should be a really lovely area called Tallipiha. Stable yard, I guess, off the top of my head. And from there I'm going to walk through the Finlayson area, which is the old mill area with the sort of traditional industry buildings, red brick buildings, and uh, we'll make our way Through the waterfront of the river Tammerkoski, and we'll see how far we make it towards Ratina Stadium. So that's the plan for today. Here's another look at the library. It looks really warm and light inside. It's kind of a rainy, fairly cold, but not too cold. Yes, yesterday evening was much colder because of a breeze. Now I think it's kind of just a moderately cold. Mm -hmm. Out of this area has uh, all the residential buildings, which has had a very characteristic of this city as well, and the city centre. Of course, this area with the terraces at the back behind me and uh, this sort of boulevard feel would be really nice in the summer. And now, early winter, I guess you can call it early winter in November without snow even. A little bit different feel, but we'll show what it is regardless. Here's Minna Kant, important figure. in sort of finished history. One of the strong female figures. And we're actually walking towards the uh, other side, the lake. There's a park between us and the water, so we won't necessarily see it here. But Tampere is surrounded by uh, two big lakes, Pyhäjärvi and Nasijärvi, with the uh, river and the rapids going through. And that, of course, gave rise to some of the industry here with textile factories and mills. As a city, it got city rights in 1779, so not a new city at all. It used to be a marketplace. And uh, the earliest history of inhabitants is uh, tribes that live in this area as early as the 700th century. So really, it's a place with a history. For a long time it wasn't such a big city, but it's very popular nowadays. And it's becoming as expensive as the capital area. I guess it's a very nice city. 
couple of times at least it's been voted the best city in Finland. But that's uh, subjective, of course. Definitely like these older buildings with such a nice feel. And you can see that it's women. We like to put glass on our balconies to keep them kind of protected from the weather, warmer. You can still enjoy them year round. This is a really lovely building. Unfortunately, I don't know its history. Look at the detail. Beautiful. And what I really like here is the colors. Same as in uh, the older parts of Helsinki. When you have a city that has all of these seasons and a lot of the year is just gray skies and uh, you don't see the sun much, I think colors. It's such a big difference. I think this is kind of getting into my least favorite weathers of the autumn or early winter and the uh, spring when you just have sort of cold weather, rain, gray. Here's one of the landmarks. The tower, that's the viewing platform at the top. I think a restaurant as well. I've never been to the restaurant. I think I have been to the tower. I have a feeling. Don't quote me on that though. That would have been on a trip to visit Sarkaniemi as a child. Sarkaniemi being an amusement park. They used to have a aquarium with dolphins, but I believe that has now ended. Just remember that from my childhood, that was one of the things that was really exciting for a child to see. Because as an adult, you start to understand probably it wasn't ideal for the animals, but that's uh, another thing that a child doesn't really think about. It's just uh, really nice to see them. Still have some yellow leaves around here. Here's the sign for Sarkanniemi. Also for an art museum for Sarah Hilden. And we'll take this lovely little path. Look at that bench, that's so nice. Can you imagine sitting here in the summer room? Maybe inside the park, to be honest. But still can imagine sitting on one of those. Notice some of these boxes that I think are for electricity and things like that. Have really nice pictures around here. Some of them paintings, but this seems to be a photograph of what the area looked like in years come past. That's really cool. It's a nice thing to put here to kind of give some perspective. Now new house is being built. Some of them already here. I actually like that they use the red brick, which is so characteristic of the area we'll come to in a moment. And 
coming to the Pallipiha area, which just looks lovely this time of the year with the little wooden houses. It's got such a lovely Christmas feel. Just imagine when it snows next week. It's going to be beautiful. I'm just going to uh, turn back before we go and explore that part. This kind of kind of rocks and stones you'll find even in the cities. And as a child, that's just so fun to climb over, you know, playing. That's kind of my memories from Finland as a child. It's that kind of nature. And there is a lovely building at the back there as well. You can see just a glimpse of it. I think I'll go around here and uh, see if I can enter the area from there and maybe see the uh, villa there as well. It's called a castle, but we only have a couple of castles that look like real castles in Finland. Savonlinna, Turunlinna, Amelinna. What others are there? But this is more like a villa, but it's called Nasinlinna. Beautiful house. Looks like they have a really nice terrace as well in the summer. And I think this is Tallipiha, stable yard. There's a chocolate shop, a couple of other shops. Let me just uh, turn my umbrella so I can enter. I know that doesn't look very nice, but it's not a big gate. <laughs> this is such a cute place, look at that. That's the uh, gate in. I'm already in love with this place. Just imagine the snow. There used to be chickens here, but they've gone to a farm to live in a warm, I don't know, warm place <laughs> for chickens, whatever you call it. That's their uh, coffee policy, so if there is a light on, there are too many people inside, you have to wait. I wonder if we could just take a peek inside. This is lovely. Beautiful. I'm just going to take a peek inside. Let's see. This would look, look lovely in the evening as well. Ah, they've got the closest. Oh, the door is closed. It is open though. You can see them. So, chocolate. Chocolate shop. But I think I would struggle to manage the heavy door with an umbrella. Might come back later and just uh, have a coffee around here. It's so beautiful. So these buildings have been here since the 1800. That's pretty cool. Not 1800, yeah, 18th century. And here are the ponies. <laughs> Who made bite? That's really cool. What a lovely place. century is what I was looking for by the way. Let's just go with old. So this was a really nice place to visit even though really quiet at this time. It's not really a lunch spot. I think I'll come back in the uh, evening when 
it will be really nice around here with the lights on and have a coffee around here. So there is part of this that is from 1792 93 and it's been renovated 1860 to 70. I just really love this place. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm glad they're uh, um, keeping it and sort of have been able to stay here because obviously now during this time. There haven't been many tourists or anything. I think this will kind of be a tourist thing. I wonder if I can make my way through here. We'll go and look. There's an art center here. local art for sale and contemporary art exhibitions. That's not something I can receive with a camera, unfortunately. But I'll check what's going on and uh, in the evening when I come back, maybe it will be open. I think we can go into the park and uh, through here. Ah, but here's the water side. I don't want to go too far into there. Have a look. I think we might see. City view from here. I think from the other side you can go through. But I think I might have to actually look at these guys, they look so cold. <laughs> I think they're just sleeping though. So that's a great residential area there with the view of the water. Yeah, I do have to go around this unfortunately. There are paths going through, but I don't think there was a gate. Oh well, I'm not going to have to uh, go back the same way a lot. And this part of course looks lovely. Is that the fighter jets? There is an airport for them around here. And I actually have frequently visited someone's summer cottage by Pukayarmi. And the uh, jets fly over there frequently. At least used to. I don't know if they have changed that now. so there must be a way through here but probably on the other no it's right here I think the gate but I don't think it will take us anywhere other than that restaurant on the, the water side I want to make my way to the Finlay's area it is a really beautiful building 
Finlaysonin palace. Finlaysonin palatsi. Beautiful. From 1899. And the Nopex used to live there. Who apparently own Finlayson. Make their fortune with that. Look at the winter pictures. So a lot of history in that building. And a beautiful church here as well. The lights in these trees uh, are part of the light festival they were on in the evening yesterday. I think because it's so grey, you could basically have them on all the time. It's pretty dark. A lot of lovely yellow wooden buildings at the back there as well. This is a lovely area. We're on Puvilla Kehtaan Katu, Cotton Factory Street. And uh, here's the Finlayson area. So the textile factories are very central here. For a long time it was a town of the workers in factories, mills and uh, Industry. I'm just waiting to cross, but there's a truck going by. And a car. And there we go. So, the city would have been defined by that. Most of the people here would have worked in the factories. And then, of course, their families living with them. And it's nice to see they've kept a lot of it. Here's the main signs site of Ou Finlayson Ave. That's the sort of LTD in Finland. Both in Finnish and in Swedish. Which is why you've got two combinations of letters. So this is take you to Tampella, which is the residential area on the other side that we saw previously. This is such a lonely area to walk in. Kind of have that, has that feel that you can start imagining what it would be like. I'll peek into Finlayson and Uya which is the alleyway around here. I think the bowl is quite nice, but it's also a large area with a lot going on. And uh, I'm not quite sure how to walk around it. It's also a very narrow way for cars to go through. So I might just have a peek in here and uh, return to the other side. There are elephants here painted on the street and a rainbow up ahead. Oh, there's the photograph of, I think, Finlayson factory. Yeah, we green plant. Nineteen fourteen exhibition of their products. It's really cool to see these uh, photographs of this area that was specifically from these buildings here. It's cool. I 
if we could go around here or get anywhere from around here. There's a coronavirus testing, so a sign of the times. <laughs> Fun to see these paintings on the ground. I'm wondering if I'm going to end up with a dead end. Well, there's a way through there. That takes me to the same place I was going to go to, so not too far. There's a little shop. What a lovely place to have your architecture office. Might be going to the end. We'll see. There is a sign here. There's a spy museum in here. What a perfect place for it. Here's the chimney of Finlayson from 1899. Going all the way up there. Glad they put the side on there. There's a home here, but it's too long for me to really pull it out. It's an art area here, which is why you have this. So I think here's another look and then let's go back to where I saw the gate so we can get into the or go towards the uh, waterfront. All the spy museum would have been really cool. It's somewhere in that alley, that's a really cool place for it. Oh, there's another poem. I'll just, uh, I'll show them. So those of you who know Finnish can uh, read it. The most loyal of the loyals. We are 2020. They were a little bit shorter, I could try, but I think I'd be standing there for quite a long time translating it. Poems are not so easy to translate. But at least we know that the area has this kind of art. Gateway should take us back to uh, one of the main streets of the waterfront. This, this is in a story or a poem by Johanna Sinisala, who uh, I've actually met once. <laughs> She's a very famous uh, science fiction writer, very nice person. And she wrote a book that won the uh, National Book Prize a while back. And I was in other secondary school and I wrote about her book. And my teacher sent my uh, essay to her and she replied. And I met her. Just a little personal story. <laughs> I think she is from Tampa, but I have a feeling she might be. So 
her book, by the way, has been translated, translated to English, so it's very different. But it's a story about taking a sort of I guess like a teacher from a story home. Has a lot of uh, different things, so I'd recommend it if you want to go and find that. We're back next to a very busy road. Kind of feels really, really noisy after that lovely area. We're going to continue on Alexis Given Bucket and then make our way to the waterfront. So I'm going to run out of battery with the camera I have here, but I'll uh, switch to another one when that happens. So you might see a little bit of transition shortly. So the street that we're now on, Alex is given here, is named after Finnish writer. One of the sort of the type of uh, writer you read at school because they are so important for the development of the country. And here's Frank Delinoki. I'll just check if I can. Go through here because this looks like a nice area. I think I can make it to the waterfront from here. So a stage called Laikun Lava and a restaurant over there in the beautiful building. So I've changed from the DHI pocket to the uh, gimbal, which seems to be working okay. And I <laughs> came to do it at the stage I mentioned before, so this is the little stage that we saw. There's the uh, Central Market Square, Kesko Story, from the other side. So if we continue that way, we get to the market and the theatre. 
But what I'm going to do is walk over to the riverside and waterfront. Well, like this side yesterday evening when I was watching the water sh uh, a light show here well it water show as well it has a kind of like water elements and light combined with music I was on the other side these stairs look very slippery it's always kind of a balancing act with the gimbal and an umbrella that will take it slow And also, I have a, yeah, I'm just going to put something in my pocket in a moment. So I'm down here, bear with me. I'll actually go to the waterfront so we can look at the view while I do that. That would be one of the sites you want to see in this city. I'm going to make my way over there to the bridge, but I'm just also going to fix something while you watch the uh, view for a bit. <laughs> Should have done this when I was... Uh, Changing the gimbal, sorry guys. But here we go. All done. And here's another chimney. I'm too close to it to have a really nice view of it. Sorry about that as well. But there it is, regardless. This would be part of the light show here. That's only happening for a short time. But it happens three times a night. I think tonight is going to be a different one from yesterday. So they don't have the same same music. Actually, let's go and follow the water side. I think I can make it up there in a moment. I'll just be too close to the buildings to show them really. I'm fixing the horizon on the gimbal as well. Someone is uh, fishing over here. Let's take another look. I think that's part of the some equipment for the show, but it's kind of there in the middle of the water. I think I can make my way up. trees are still stubbornly holding on to their leaves. Maybe I can keep walking here and following the waterfront. There's definitely a way through. I'm not sure if we have more to see here and it might just be nicer to take the next street. It's a lovely view but 
pretty much more of the same maybe. This would be a nice character in the summer. I do feel like crossing though. So let's cross by going under the street at Hame and Kato. And uh, then hopefully there's a way up. It seems like there's a way up to Hame and Kato on this side as well. I can already see a view of the stadium, Patina. And uh, whoop! Bit of breeze there. I think I'll try to make it over there. Yeah, well, there's no way forward here anyway, so I guess we kind of covered that. We'll just take the stairs up here, or I will. This is now Hane and Kato, one of the major streets. The uh, central market square on the other side. Of the building on the other side. Oh, I'm actually on a cycle lane. <laughs> it's not that clearly marked, to be honest. I'll try not to be stupid and walk in anyone's way. And unless you see the sign here, you don't really know you're on it. I think I'll actually uh, make my way to the little alleyway there. Smaller street, I guess not the other way. Nice little tower on the building. And these as well. These look like a castle, don't they? security company making their way through on the pavement <laughs> just waiting to see what they'll do before I uh, get in their way and this will take us to uh, another part of the waterfront
Hallituskatu, Government Street, and this is Church Street, Vilkkakatu. You can see the uh, water side and you can see the stadium at the back there. Ratina houses, uh, football matches and events I've been there for the national team's football match I think that was the last time I was there I'm trying to remember if I've ever been to a concert or something but I don't think so probably it's just the football some construction that we have to uh, navigate. Luckily the umbrella does fit through. Kind of. moving company truck making a turn make my way to the water side though as soon as I can there's the boat terminal here some of these boats actually cover a fair distance. They're not sort of a public transport or anything like that. These more trips to see the lakes and waterways. Call it Central Square Pesco Story. I guess you could have a square that is not a Tori, though. I mean, Tori for me kind of means uh, marketplace. I don't know. I think one of these uh, boats coming up is also a sauna. It's a slope sauna. I've seen those on the lakes before, where you can kind of go on the water with a boat or a floating sauna. That would definitely be more of a summer thing to do. I'm not sure if that's a solid structure there or whether it goes on trips to the lakes. Lovely little terrace over there. Kind of covered from the weather. No, I think those are possibly moving structures. This is the bridge over to, over to uh, Latina Stadium over there. And then at the background, I think we can see the New Indoor Stadium. It's called Fancy. I 
these little glass houses look quite quite uh, cute and there's a pool which is fake water I believe that would be fairly cool to dip in when it's five six degrees at the moment the lake cannot be much much warmer they stay a bit warmer for a while but still that would be cold hey i'm not sure when that cut off but my phone basically cut off might be the weather might be uh, storage as well but i did check that i was just saying there's a pool there that's lake water pool which would be pretty cold at this time of the year and uh, talking about the boats and the stadium we'll see it might be a little bit of a ramble that got cut off but i think as we come here to Latina uh, stadium and there's also the i think in the distance the new Gonsi stadium as well that's above the railway i think i'm going to start ending the video here we've gone through sort of the areas i hope to walk through today and i even got all the way to the stadium with a bit of a <laughs> changing cameras and things like that there's another i think a little boat with the terrace at the top probably a sort of a sabuti kind of thing as well that was a really weird pronunciation anyway you probably get what i mean it's a goosey and uh here's the stadium so i hope you like this walk through the uh, more traditional industrial areas of tampere and all the way along the uh, riverside here to uh, latina stadium i think we covered quite a bit of the beautiful areas in tampere city center and uh, it was definitely a nice walk for me. I really love those uh, little uh, houses around uh, Tallipiha. And then uh, I also have a soft spot for the uh, sort of uh, industrial old uh, brick buildings. I think they're really lovely. I'm going to make my way down here and walk by the front of the stadium I'm going to make my way back to the hotel and uh, I booked the sauna so that will be nice after <laughs> this walk in the rain it's not too cold but still will be nice to uh, warm up a little bit So thank you so much for joining me today for the walk, giving me a reason to uh, explore Tampere after quite a while. I haven't been here for years really, that would be accurate with the pandemic. And it has been really nice to be back and explore. And these videos are one of the reasons that gets me out in this weather, so thank you for making it uh, fun. It's got a really nice interior. There's the sauna. Pretty cool. Then you can jump into the lake and it's even got sun panels which are not getting a lot of light in this weather I'm afraid. I guess you wouldn't take that out right now though. These are pretty cool. Be fun to try sometime. They even got modern showers and things in there. And barbecue at the top. There's 
there's another shopping center on the other side, Koski Keskus, and the uh, Hotel Ilves. This one seems to have a terrace in the summer. Some of these are probably permanently moored here. But more of a summer thing, of course. The weather's not really great for sitting outside on a terrace like that. There's the factory on the other side. by Nets, uh, something to do with forest. I think I'm pretty much going to make my way through here back to the uh, hotel, which is the, I think, going through the uh, shopping center there, so uh, I think this is where I thank you for today and uh, I hope I'll see you again soon.